Here is an Alvi 650A. It's, uh, I guess, from the 70s. I don't, it might be fiberglass, it may be some kind of plastic. I'm not really sure what it is. But it's got uh, a rudimentary drag system here. There's a clicker, it's a little bit stiff, but I guess that's off or either it doesn't work. I just got this in the mail. Yeah, off. A little bit stiff, but and then you, you loosen up the the spool with the drag. Someone uh I guess has turned this around. I don't know that much about Alvis, but usually the star drag is facing down. I guess this would make it a little bit easier to, to use. It might make it easier to get hung up in your monofilament or braid. Seems to be okay. I'm just going to take it apart and see what it looks like. Make sure it's all working. It's got the side cast. A little bit stiff. I'm going to take it apart, clean it up, oil it. Yeah, it's a, a bit stiff. There's not much to these things. Nowhere near as complicated as a spinning reel egg beater. I always lay out my workspace with the something to keep everything here and keep the countertop clean. All right, so first I'm going to take the Take the star drag off. Pretty clean. This grease is like poo. It's all bunched up here. The clicker probably use some grease. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna take everything, give it a good cleaning with a brush and some degreaser, and I'm gonna oil up a couple of things, then put some grease on a few things, and put it all back together. Everything is clean, wiped down. I just use a nylon brush, 
to clean everything. I have a steel brush and a brass brush, but I just use nylon because I don't like to scratch everything up. And it's mostly clean. I'm not gonna go extreme and polish anything. I just cleaned it up and when I'm done, I'll wipe this down, but I'm gonna use this reel. It's not going on a shelf or whatever, so good enough. I just wanna get all the dirt, grime out of it, make sure it's all oiled up, make sure everything works properly. Go from there. First thing is to put the swing on. This can be a little bit of a pain because the screw has to be lined up properly. Let's put the washer on. It's like a carbon fiber or something. I don't know what that washer is, but I've seen a few of them with the old felt paper type. This, this has to line up. So I'm gonna stick this in for right now. And I'll have to put this on when I put the spool on. And oh, that's good. If you tighten it too much, you won't be able to turn it. If you don't tighten it enough, it's going to wobble and bounce around when you're using it. Gonna get on your nerves. It gets on my nerves. So I'm gonna put this washer on and I'll squirt a little bit of oil in there, grease. doesn't have to be super tight but this this has to turn freely let's check it for play feels good all right I use a solder brush to clean up. Probably can do this before, but it just ends up making a mess for me. So I just shove some grease down in it with solder and brush. Right, next, I'm gonna put the, the shaft in. You gotta put this washer in before, otherwise you have to take it back off so it won't fit across the, or down the shaft of it. And be careful not to damage the threads. Just a little bit, snug it up. And there's a curve in the spring, so you want that curve going toward your pivot. Up. This hole comes out here and all the shaft for this. So after you're done, squirt some oil in here. Grease. Grease is probably better. But I'm going to put this on to keep from getting stuff in it. clicker. You don't want to put too much grease in anything. It's 
sand will stick to it and it'll make more of a mess than it's worth by over greasing everything. Okay, so got that. I'll put a little bit of grease on this gear because it rides on this washer. Most of the work is over with. And I'm putting this back like it was when I got it. Most of them are actually turned around this way, but I'm gonna try it out. Someone turned it over. Maybe it was on purpose, maybe not, who knows. But I'm gonna see. This is a tension for the spool, so. The more you tighten it, the more resistance there is. I'm not too fond of the drag system like this because I don't like changing the tension on the drag when I'm fighting fish and that causes a lot of lost fish. So I prefer the drag system on a spin reel because it's much more fluid and it's much easier to set it and forget it. With this one, you want to reel in, you got the drag tight, this sucks. So loosen it up, it's much easier to spin. And you can see you tighten this up. That's it. <clears throat> For the handles, I clean the handles up. And the older ones, this is a felt. The newer ones is kind of a neoprene foam like you find in a pair of thongs. I prefer to use felt to replace it with. I have some in the garage and I just cut them out with a metal the die. I take a hammer and whack it to make perfect little circles. Crap. And for the let's put a little bit of grease in. Doesn't really matter. It's a lot of grease, but I'll go ahead and wipe the excess on my other handle. And then for the handle screws, I'll screw these tight and then turn them a little. It can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Screw it all the way down. And back it off a little, maybe a half a turn. Make sure that they turn freely. But you don't want much play in them either. working around the camera. I'm sure some of you will criticize me for this. Shit.
It's easier just tighten the nut all the way and loosen it up some after you get it started. Just loosen it up there. These are brass, so I try to go slow and careful with them so I don't round out the slots. They're pretty thin, so most of the screwdrivers I have don't don't fit. They don't go in the slot very well. I'll probably grind this one down, but I just put a little bit of grease in it. And it's pretty easy to take everything apart and do that routine maintenance. This pretty much just keeps your spring snug so it doesn't, it keeps tension on the, your drag so it doesn't spin off when you're fishing or whatever. That's probably more than enough grease. That's it. Now you can go put kilometer of 20 30 pound line on it whatever you're going to use this is a 500a so probably going to use oh this is 650a i'll do my 500 next i got a couple of them yesterday uh 650 i use it off the rocks and see what happens all right hit the like and subscribe button if you didn't hate this video Maybe I'll do some more where I clean up everything really nicely. But like I said, I'm gonna use this. It's gonna get full of sand. Hopefully get some fish blood and guts on it. Is there a simple reels? Uh, they're, they're not as easy to use as a spinning reel, but they are good for the surf because of sand. Not an issue with these. You can see there's really nothing that sand is gonna mess up. All of the pertinent parts are sealed up. It's easy to clean. Really no reason to neglect these. It only takes two seconds to take them apart and clean them. All right. And we'll, maybe we'll see you guys on the rocks or the surf soon.